Welcome back, everybody. Some more everybody's golf on PlayStation 4. Namrong Bay Country Club. We're going to play the Inward Nine as part of our DLC guide. Uh, again, first time I've played this. So, um, this is as much of a voyage of exploration for me as it is for you. Um, difficult course, the first nine holes. Plenty of water, plenty of choices. Um, and how you play it and course management. But I think it's a powerful. Interesting course, interesting course. So. Nice straightforward par four to start. Actually, for this course, slightly narrow fairway. And again, it's going to roll left on him on landing. So, kind of got to be a bit careful here. And certainly, as we saw, if you watched my last video, it doesn't half punish you when you're offline. But again, you know, keep it on the fairway. Keep it on the green. Keep out of trouble. Set that second shot up as best you can. Yeah, you can see that really rolled left. So 125 to go. Slightly above me. So it's going to kick right. Sorry, kick left. And the wind's going to bring it back to the right. So, slightly downhill. Slightly into the wind. Get a bit of backspin on it. Just pitch past, hopefully, and grip and come back. That's all right. So, seven foot pup. Gonna break right, so maybe just outside the left edge. Don't get flustered. Shout that while I'm putting. That'll do. Take that. It's a par four. So, 11. Quite a short par four, 330, which always worries me. Oh, that's why. Okay, so really, where do you where do you want the ball here? So there's the pin. So I want to be up here if I can be, but of course you've got that bunker, you've got the water. Ooh, maybe I want to try and land it about uh, yeah, somewhere right there, but we're going to shape it, so we're going to bring it left to right. Okay, let's see if we can do this. So what we're trying to do is, is bend it round so it's got more fairway to land. I don't know if that makes sense. So it pitches there, just jumps over the bunker. Yeah, look at that. Nice tight line into the pin. Gives us a nice second shot. So there you go. 45 yards to go inside approach range. It's going to roll right on landing. Wind wants to take it right. And the lie wants to take it right. So let's see if we can just... Let's just get it up and roll it. Let's see if it will roll. So it will drop short. Champion. Oh, yeah. A little bit less pace, and that's got a chance, I think. Oh, that buggy. That needed to hit the pin, really. Okay, so pretty strong break left. Sloping downhill. And again, I don't want to hit it to the left. too hard. I want it to break into the hole if I can. Just like that. There you go, take that. Again, you've got to be close to the pin. The greens on this one are pretty tricky. Hole 12 is a par 3. So hole 12, another par 3. Again, we're into the wind. Wind's a bit right left. Look at this, no room to work with there at all. So again, if you kind of played there and hit it straight, you've got so little green to play with. So the trick here is to bend it. So we're going to bend it left to right to give us more green. And you'll see what I mean when I hit the shot. He said it doesn't go in the water. Um... Okay. Is that enough? I'm probably borrowing enough yes. there. It's a three iron, so it's not going to have that much impact. So let's try that. So what we're trying to do yeah, here is, is just be over the green a bit more. So hopefully, oh, I got lucky there, nearly in the bunker. I was trying to be about a yard or so to the left there, so it would have pitched, and that would have been a nice shot. We got away with that a little bit. So again. Let's see what we can do. See if we can roll it in. So again, pitch it on. Let it roll. Oh. Yeah, there we go. Got away with that one if I'm entirely honest, but that's a birdie nevertheless. Oh. Yeah, I'd look pleased with that one too. So three straight birdies to start. Best way to start any round. It's a par five. It's a 13, par five. What? Just look at that description of the hole on the right. What is that? Okay. So, let's start out right here and have a look. Oh, so there's a little gap in the rocks you can play here. 
Oh my days. Uh, wow. Okay, we're going to try that. We're going to try that, but we're going to put a bit of bend on it. So we're going to play for there, because the wind's going to take it. Actually, no, we'll hit it straight. So, power shot on. This is a bit like that one on um, Canaloa Beach. Oh, no, I hit the rock. Okay. So you can't go through that hole. Well, that's gone. I get to another ball. That's cruel, isn't it? That is cruel. But you probably can if you bend it then. So, let's learn our lesson. I say let's learn our lesson. Um, so this time, we're going to put a bit of... Put a bit of a spin on it. Like that. And that's how you do it. So that cost us a stroke and dis... Wow. This is an interesting course. It's a bit like the one on Canloa Beach where you hit it through the arch. It's fine when you're short, but when you've got longer clubs, it becomes a real pain in the bum. So, a little bit of tailwind. A little bit of left to right. Three woods are stopping. This is going to be the challenge. Got the ultra backspin, which is great. So this should pitch and grip. Stop, 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 stop. There you go. That's not bad. So we've got this for a par. So. Sloping uphill. It is uphill. To the right. It's going to break right. I'm going to be firm. Okay. And I've under hit these before. Okay. And I've over hit that one. Massively over hit that one. That's a poor putt. So I left myself six foot. And that's still a tricky putt. So maybe a cut right. Hit it firm. Get in the hole. Excellent. So it's a bogey, but I suppose that's from that first shot. <sighs> Disappointing. But we learnt a valuable lesson. You can't get through that hole in the rock. Hole 14. It's at par You don't get a trajectory. <laughs> a trajectory hint in this game either so some other games give you a they kind of show you where the shot's going to go this game doesn't now uh, water skip what does that look like that's skippable into the wind though which is a bit maybe i want to play there all right this is risky but you know we're learning the course so it's an acceptable risk got the super top spin on it where's that gonna land where's that gonna land Water skip, go on, get on, get up. Double water Lucky skip. Oh. You broke the okay, I'll take that. 110 to go. And actually set ourselves up quite nicely there, didn't we? So, what's that going to do when it lands? It's going to roll left, uh, roll right, sorry, okay. So, again, let's get it up. Let's get it stopped. Oh, Nietzsche! See if we can get it close. Ah, oh, no, too short. Didn't read the wind. Didn't read the wind properly. But again, we can try and chip this in. So it's going to roll right. And the trick is to kind of pitch it and roll it. Pitch it and roll it. There you go. Oh, just too much pace. Just too much pace. So we missed our birdie there. But it was that second shot. We just underread it. If we'd have been on the green. Oh, good. So after a great start, we've gone bogey par. Oh, 15. Okay. It's a par 15, four. par four. There's some sort of rock thing in the middle again. Oh, I see. It's not. It looks like there's an arch there, but it's not. It's two big chunks of rock. Okay. So where do we want to be here? If it's downwind, I can probably drive over the top of that, to be fair. Let's find out. Easy drive over the top of that, by the looks of it. It's probably a nice little skill shot if you can bounce off the top of that rock. Oh, I'll have a look at that, maybe. So, this is 120. But again, another bit of rock in front of us. So it's blind to the pin. Okay, and we've got a tailwind. Now, we're going to have to play this with a bit of side rock. So I don't think... Oh, I don't know. Let's see. Let's see if we can get it up there. Might have to go to the 8 iron. That's okay. That's okay. Now, did I read the wind and the altitude? Oh, 
Just over pitched a touch. Just a touch over pitched. That's not a bad shot. Okay. So no discernible break, but it's uphill. So let's hit it firm. With a bit of luck, that drops. And we break our run of bad results. Back to a birdie. It's a three, four, five finish. So the last par three. Oh, 16. 16. Is a par three. Okay. So a little bit of wind from there. Again, let's see if we can stop it. Bravo! Now I've overpitched it, but that's deliberate. I want to be on the green. I don't want to finish short like I've the last couple of times. And we've got the ultra backspin to bring us back a bit. That's left us a 20 footer. So that's gonna Sloping go down, I think. Left. Breaks to the right. Breaks to a little bit right. So let's go left edge. Let's hit it gentle. See what it does. Yes. Wobble about a bit. And then drop. Nice. Oh, 17. It's a par four. Okay. So we're into the breeze. Downhill. Uh, that looks like the shot, doesn't it? That looks like the shot. Go! That was my last That's power shot. I probably should have thought about that, really. I might want that on the last one, which is a par five. Skips on a bit. That's okay. We're in good position. Beard of a hanging lie, but I can probably live with it. So 160 to go. Again, that pin's tough. And we're into the wind, so maybe a bit more club. Let's play it there. Master Wolf. Oh, wind's not brought that back nearly as much as I thought it would. Got a nice bounce though. Go on. Left me a 12 Just footer. A so pretty strong break right. Left, sorry. Breaking to the left. Maybe there. Maybe there. I suspect that's gonna stay high. Oh, Justin. Justin. It's a five minutes. It's a par five to finish. This will be the last. Oh, 18. It's a par five. 524. So maybe not having that power shot isn't going to hurt us too much. But that's the shot there, isn't it? The wind's going to push it there. Push it right, sorry. That's got on, it's alright. Oh, just gonna run out. No, just stays on. Just stays on. Okay. 216. Some big chunks of rock in the way. And a bit of interest in wind, so I'm definitely gonna have to spin this one. So a little bit of right to left on it. Where's that gonna land? On the green. That looks all right. Oh, that's enough. It's run on a bit, but hard with the woods. Got a bit of backspin on it though. Leveled my backspin up a bit more. Don't let the eagle slip. It's a monster putt. Sloping uphill. Up two foot. to the left. Gonna break left on me. Two foot uphill. I'm gonna give it all the beans. Probably ah. short then. I don't know. Yes. Oh, go on, go it's on. We're short. That was short. For wow. a but we've still got the birdie pop. A little bit uphill. It ain't over yet. Finish with a birdie. That was a good course. I enjoyed that. That's a bit harder than the other two DLC courses. But, I mean, I'd describe that as a, as a tough course. You know, you're not going to score like you would on Eagle City on it. But, yeah, interesting. So, that's the, the last of... The three DLC courses, so you'd have seen all six rounds. Um, I may even do another round through them with my with my custom clubs, just to show you what they're like when you've got a bit more power on them. But I hope you enjoyed that, um, and hopefully you might want to buy those courses and play them for yourself. 
but in any case, if you enjoyed this video, please like it because it helps me to know what content you guys want me to make. Uh, and please feel free to share Heidi, it. And subscribe up? if you want to see more Everybody's Golf action. And until next time, oh, I've got the Chance Reward. Or that I get some jeans. Brilliant. So until next time, I'll see you soon. Goodbye.